Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today we're going to, uh, to be testing our Raiden RD6006 power supply. Um, I bought some HP Pavilion uh, power uh, bricks uh, to power my uh, power supplies. I've got two of them. We're only going to be looking at one. They're identical. Um, so uh, we just want to make sure that the HP Pavilion power supply can actually deliver um, an appreciable amount of power uh, to the power supply and the way we're going to do that is to put a load on the power supply and just drive the um, power up uh, <coughs> and, and, and see that uh, it doesn't get shut down or anything like that so um, let's just duck you over here okay so uh, this is my notebook uh, we'll be taking some notes here's my Pen. Today is the 28th of July 2023. Of course, I'm an Australian, so I put the day first and the month second. Uh, at least when I'm writing in my notebook, that's what I do. But for my American friends, I actually use the other kind of date format on my YouTube videos because I'm a complex individual, you know. So uh, all we need to know for this video is Ohm's Law. Uh, v equals IR. Or in our case, um, I equals <coughs> uh, V divided by R. R is 6. And speaking of R is 6, let me just uh, show you what we've got. This is our 100 watt, 6 ohm, 5% tolerance resistor. Um, We'll be testing our power supply with that. We're going to need um, some alligator clips to hook it up. So let me just grab those uh, over here. Um, now, those alligator clips will be flapping around with a live voltage on them. Um, <coughs> so we want to make sure we don't accidentally short anything out. We'll look into that in a minute. So we're going to have to test a bunch of voltages. We're going to have V over here. We'll have I over here. Uh, we'll have power over here. Um, power is uh, IV. So uh, just voltage times current. We can deliver up to 100 watts. So we've got to make sure that we don't exceed 100 watts. Um, we're going to do some voltages. Let's do 1, 2, 4, 8, 10, 12, and, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll do an, another voltage probably at the very end uh, just to see what the ac absolute maximum we can squeeze out of this thing is. Um, so the current uh, is just going to be uh, <coughs> 1 on 6. I'm going to put that in there. Can you see that? Uh, all right. Um, 1 on 6, uh, 0.16, and then uh, 2 on 6 is 0 0.33, and then 4 on 6 is 0 0.66, and 8 on 6 is 1.33, and 10 on 6 is 1.66, and 12 on 6 is 2, we know that. Now, the power is going to be in watts 0 0.16, uh, 0 0.66, uh, 0 0.66 times, that, not times, point, point 0.66 times 4, 2.64, and 8 times 1.33. 10.64 and then 16.6 uh, and then 24 so that's 24 watts total um, which is well within the 100 watt tolerance of this um, <coughs> resistor or I shouldn't really say tolerance it's a 5% tolerance resistor but it's a uh, um, uh, it can it can dissipate up to 100 watts worth of uh, power um, so uh, let me just switch you over. Let's see what we can do here. <coughs> All right. Uh, yes. All right. So we'll 
put that guy there and move him over there so that you can see me working on the power supply. Now you're not able to see the screen, I'm sorry about that, there's not much to be done about that. But I'll, uh, I'll tell you what it says. Um, let's, uh, the, the, just so you know, the um, over voltage pre protection has been at 20 volts. I, um, we won't be exceeding that. And the over current protection, I've put it all the way up to 4 amps. Um, we won't be exceeding that either. So um, uh, just so you know, th those are the settings for the over voltage and the over current. Um, we'll be using settings lower than that. Um, um, let's uh, first of all um, hook up our resistor. So let's just put that guy there and that guy there. All right. This has actually got. Um, metal on the outside of its um, case and we don't want to accidentally short short out our alligator clips by uh, touching them on the on the metal case now this power supply is not on at the moment so uh, this won't be live when we plug it in which is what we want so that looks good to me you can see that we've got our um, our resistor here, uh, banana plugs plugging into the power supply. Got the power over here. Now we put the we're going to put the original original current at um, 0.16, and the original voltage we're going to set it to one. So we're going to start off at one volt, and just see how that goes. So uh, <clears throat> there, there's going to be no um, readings to take. Uh, on the on the notes, we're just going to put in the values. And make sure that uh, that the power this will report its power. We've calculated what the power should be, so it's just a matter of plugging in the numbers as the settings, the voltage, of course, and the current, um, and then just seeing what happens. So on we go. All right, so it's delivering near one volt, 0.94 volts. I uh, put 0.159 amps for 0.14 watts, which is pretty close to what we expected. So that's at two. Now we're going to set the voltage at two. Uh, we're going to set the current at 0.33. Um, okay, and on we go, and up it goes. This is 1.95, 1.96 volts, uh, 0.329 amps, and it's 0.64 watts very close to what we were expecting. I've noticed this tends to just under deliver the power just a little bit. Um, that's okay, not, not a problem. So uh, close enough is good enough. And this is only a 5% tolerance um, uh, uh, resistor. And I haven't actually measured it to see exactly what tolerance my scope says it is, or my multimeter says it is, um, because it's not important. Okay, so we're gonna go onwards and upwards, the voltage, First of all, we set the current to 0.66, the voltage to 4, and on we go, and it's delivering that. No problem, Point, uh, 2.6 2.6 watts, that's good. Uh, we're going to set the voltage up to 8, and set the current up to 1.33, um, and on we go. Okay, it's delivering 8 volts. 1.32 amps, just over 10 watts, which is what we want to see. And I'll put the voltage up to 10. I will put the current up to 1.66. Uh -huh. Okay, and on we go. And that seems to be working quite comfortably. Um, no heat really to be felt in the resistor at all. Up we go to 12 volts. Uh, the current is 2, uh, on we go, see if it gets warm, just the tiniest little bit of hint of warmth on that resistor there now. So uh, we've shown that the, the Raiden RD6006 power supply can deliver 24 watts, um, 12 volts, 2 amps. So um, I, I figured out earlier about uh, with the 19 point uh, 5 volt input this guy can 
uh, deliver as many as 18 volts. So we'll set the voltage up to 18 volts. Um, and we'll make a note over here about 18. And what we're going to do now is just see what the maximum um, uh, vo voltage uh, uh, and power uh, can, can uh, be done at, with this 6 ohm load. So we're going to put the maximum voltage, which is 18 volts, um, and, um, uh, and just see how much power it can be delivered um, at 18 volts. So... Um, let me just put that in here. What do we got? Um, 18 uh, divided by 6 is 3, which is a nice, neat number. Um, and that'll give us um, uh, 54, I think it is. 18 times 3, 54 watts. So that those 54 watts are still well within the 100 watt tolerance of, of this um, resistor. Um, and, uh, and and so that's good. So we're going to put the the current up to three, and the voltage is at eighteen. So we're going to when turning this on, we're going to expect to see fifty four watts coming through. Up we go. Okay, it's actually delivering forty seven watts. Um, and yes, I can tell you that is actually starting to warm up. So that resistor there, starting to get warm under that load. Okay, great. So. Um, uh, that concludes today's uh, experiments. I think we can say happily that the, the ride and power supply can be um, powered by the red-black pair of the uh, HP Pavilion uh, power supply that I was testing. Uh, that HP Pavilion power supply actually has two pairs of power, one of them around 15 volts, which is the black-white pair, and one at 19.5 volts, which is the, the black-red pair. Um, so I'm using the black red pair. I'm getting actually a bit over 19.5 volts, closer to 20 volts into the uh, the Ryden. The Ryden can only deliver power l the voltage less than its input. Um, and uh, I tried putting it in um, at uh, at 19 volts. It can't deliver 19 volts, but it can deliver 18 volts. So uh, it can deliver at least as much as 18 volts, which is more than I'll be using. I, I need uh, perhaps maximum 12 volts at 2 amps for sure. Most of the things I'll be doing probably using 9 volts or maybe 5 volts or less. Um, so I think that's going to uh, meet my requirements. I'm pretty happy with that. And a big thanks to my mate Rick on the EEV blog forum for helping me out with this one. Um, so uh, yeah, signing off. That's it for now. Uh, see you next time.